What's up everyone? It is March 26, 2019. Coincidentally, today while I was rummaging through some old hard drives, I found a video from March 26, 2009. Exactly 10 years ago. So here is like a real 10 year challenge. P90X. 10 minute trainer worked cool, lost like 20 something pounds. But now, let's see if I can, I'm at like low 180, I'm around 181, 182 right now. So with this PX90, let's see if I can hit 170 or something. So, it'd be like hella cut and stuff. For the last 26 weeks, I just kept doing P90X every day, six days a week. And, oh man, I gotta say, the results are. Awesome P90X stuff. Man, that's the real deal. That stuff works, but the thing is, you gotta stick to it every day, every day, every day. Ain't no excuse for laziness. I never use the hangover as an excuse. I never use tired as an excuse. If I have to get up at work at 7 in the morning, I wake up at 4 in the morning and do my P90X. That's like the commitment you gotta do. The diet plan, I didn't do too much of the diet plan, but I ate healthy, watched what I ate. I fucking did it. I have a normal BMI now. It's crazy. And it's around it comes on a day where I just uh, played some flag football with the homies, the old high school friends, and they ain't never seen me this like before. And for some of them, you know, they don't see me as often, so they were like, wow, I have a new person. Um, man, this is... This is a day that I've been pretty much working on since... So for the whole year, since January 09, started with 10 minute trainer, some Wii Fit, some slimming down with Stevie, maximum Wii Fit, onto the P90X, this is my um, second tour of duty on P90X, this is like my second week, and I wasn't expecting it today, I just know that I've been, I've been getting close, I've been getting closer and closer to that 25, that BMI, and the Today I weighed myself like six times and all six times I was, I really cleared it. I'm, I still don't have the six pack yet so that's what I'm working on next. So just because I reached that normal BMI, there's still so much more I could do, there's still so much more that I want to do. You know, I try to stay under 2,000 calories a day, get some good quality food, some like protein, some protein and fiber, and some whole grains, stuff like that. And, um, you know, it worked out fine. Maybe I'd be a lot skinnier if I worked on the diet plan, but one day at a time, which point is I stuck to it. I tried to stay disciplined. And the dividends are paying off. I'm down to 157. This is the first time in my life that I'm like at a normal body weight, at a normal BMI or so. feels good, it makes my attitude feel good no matter even though you're going through a lot of hard times or crazy stuff. When you go through hard times, crazy stuff, you stressing off of stuff. When you're healthy, it makes a big difference. It makes it feel good. Then you look good. I just gotta use my good looks to uh, do something good. Round three. So, health update. I managed to somewhat maintain that healthy lifestyle. I'm up to 180, 165 pounds, so I'm a little bit heavier for my lowest, which was 157, but I'm still like 17 pounds lighter than I was exactly 10 years ago. Although I have swelled up to like 190 at one point even, and you know, as we grow older, our metabolism gets a little slower. We go through a lot of changes. That was done in San Francisco. I am now here in Los Angeles. So even the lifestyle change, environment change, could, um, you know, changes up the lifestyle habits a little bit, changes your body weight. But 
I've managed to maintain a healthy lifestyle. I still like look at what I eat. I, you know, not as strict as before. But yeah, I know I still kept working out. I do a lot more recreational sports. Um, I play basketball a couple times a week now. I've been blessed to uh, watch some of the world's greatest fighters and boxers like Manny Pacquiao train. So I, I see them right there. It's like, man, they all cut up. They on that ESPN body. Man, I want to look like that. So I kind of took a boxing a little, just, you know, hitting the heavy bags. But what's more is I maintain a healthy lifestyle. I run a lot more now. I, and I think part of it's technology. Technology has made um, being healthy more accessible. Like, look, look, it's a Fitbit right there. Counts how many steps I get. I mean, but even like Nike has stuff like Nike Run Club, Nike Training Club that gives you like workout routines that you just follow and you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money on like those old DVDs you used to order. I mean, you know, I think technology has made it a lot easier to maintain a healthy lifestyle if you know how to use it right. I also got better at posing for the camera and adjusting with lights. But for the record, I do not Photoshop or Bellify my pics. I just kind of play with the color a little, crop it, you know. But I don't crop like my stomach, so what you see is what you get, yo. So until then, stay healthy, eat well, um, keep active, and God bless.